Like today is Sunday, and I've been chilling with my queen. We ate a little breakfast together, something like that. Then I snuck out to the Hobo Depot. <laughs> I gotta sneak back, cause, she, cause she's kinda like sleep right now. Uh, anywho, I wanted to come out here and talk about this base, all right? What do you wanna talk about? Well, I kinda like it. It's a, it's a you know, it's a vintage base, and it has, you know, look, I ain't even putting the stuff on it. But I'm excited because I want you guys to see this because I think it's amazing. All right, so look, I'm going to put the cover back on it while you guys are looking. I got to do all this really quick because the queen, you know, she may wake up and say, Bae! That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Bae, where you at? If I tell her I'm out here in the Hobo Depot, she'd be like, say what? <laughs> so who, who? So what you say? You wear that? And that won't be good. All right, so we're gonna just put a screw right now just so we can do the video. Just put a screw, let's put one right here. Put one here, and put one right here. It takes four, but I'm gonna just put these two in right now so we can do the video. All right, so this is a, a vintage gill base. One of my customers slash friends sent it to me. All right, to get to get it reconned and, and checked over. And I'm glad he did because it gives me an opportunity to actually get a chance to see one. I haven't seen one since I had one. And I had one back up in the 90s. Actually, I had two of them. I had a white one and a black one. Man, trash can, back up in the 90s. And I'll tell you right now, I was killing with it. I mean, it was working for me. <laughs> Look, it was working good for me. And, and what, what is that noise? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Why, why you turn that way? Cause you mad, right? Why you mad? Cause I want you. To, he mad cause I won't let him play the bass. He mad. He got a Ken Smith, he still ain't satisfied. I don't get it. Come on, man, turn around. <laughs> hey, Hootie, you looking crazy. What is this music you got on, man? Is that how you feeling right now? <laughs> Look, I gotta cut that off, son. That's just, that's just crazy to me. Like, so, so. <laughs> that was funny to me. All right, so look. So we got this gill base in, and um, my my customer sent me the base to to get it, um, you know, recon so that. All right, so long story short. All right, so I did a recon on the base. Man, it was, whoa. Um, he played it. He, I guess he, I don't know if he got it brand new, but he definitely played it. I mean, the neck was seriously dirty. Um, the input jack was bad um all the hardware when i when i put it into water to soak uh, when i came back um later on th that evening the water was chocolate brown to me i love it because that tells me that my customer didn't baby this base <laughs> look he ain't baby he played it all right that's what i love about it all right so look well, let's look at it it's a sexy piece right now. Look, you a sexy piece right now because I love the way your shape is, girl. All right, so look. It's got EMGs in it. It got the old 80s, 70s EMGs um, in it. And it has the PJ setup. And it has a battery in it. But the when I looked at the, the, the preamp, it wasn't a preamp. It was just a stock 25Ks uh, with a battery hooked into it. So it didn't have the EMG preamp. It just had the stock... I'm going to put a battery in it so it's going to be a little hotter. All right. Because without the battery, she's kind of on the weak side. All right. It's maple on a rosewood neck. And it's a Gill USA. Gill USA. It is not a Gill Demand. Demand by Fender. This is the real junk. 
You how you can tell the real joint? Cause this joint right here, beans and potatoes, baby, right here, beans and potatoes. That's what it is. I love you, beans and potatoes. <laughs> All right. So I strung it up with Dia Dario strings, and uh, they're they're like medium medium lights. Cause uh, he's a he's a picker with a pick, and I think he does a little fingery, but he. he I couldn't set it up directly on the frets because he he used a pick and that would be kind of dangerous to hear. All right, so let's plug it in. I'm coming through my SWR LA12 and that joint ain't got no hone in it. <laughs> it's not horn, it's hone. It ain't got no hone in it. All right, so let's, let's tune it up. Make sure it's in tune. Cause the strings are new. Oh, it's not bad. She gonna hear this. She gonna hear this though. The queen gonna hear this. And her favorite line, Bay. <laughs> all right, so look. All right, so we gonna put it on all bass and let's go through the front pickup first. Oh, so let me tell you what he got. Front pickup here, rear pickup here, bass and treble on one stack, on one thing. No stack, just bass and treble. I turn the amp down. I think I will. You too loud, baby. You too loud. Bring it down, baby. Bring it down. All right. Outside, hoodie. Oh, he turned his back on me again. He turned. <laughs> I ain't going to turn you around. I'm going to let you stay like you are. <laughs> Acting all crazy. Front pickup. the piano sound though that's that old P sound when I took the pickups out they had that old EMG pickup like with the, the brown cover underneath of it that's the old jump alright rear pickup Taking over that rear just a little bit, just enough to say, I'm here. <laughs> but then that P's in the back going like, yeah, but you ain't by your say. Uh, I said say, you ain't by your say. <laughs> Self. All right, so let's turn on all trouble. Because I'm playing it a little hard. Because when you start, when you start digging in, it's as soon as she gets aggressive, man. Though. Look at her, look, look how she's shaped. 
She's just got that nice, that nice, fast, sexy shape. You go, girl. You got that shape. That's that 70s, 80s shape, man. That thing is so... I don't know. I, I think Gil had that, that unique kind of vibe, man. They was trying something new, and it was working. So there you have it, folks. Uh, today, they're, they're Gil's base, and she's she's ready to leave me. So, But I have to play a couple more times before she go. I'm just saying. Look, I don't need to be mad. As long as it's in the shot, I won't play the paint off. I can put it back on. Yo, that is the funniest thing, bro. He got his back to me. Now, anybody who got a Ken Smith, why are they mad? I don't get it. Anybody who got a Ken Smith, why are they mad? Because he can't play this vintage bass. He mad. <laughs> but shout out to Kaka, folks. Johnny e. Law and Obo Deep Post. What I want to say is, please, guys, know that the Hobo Depot and the Long family love you with all our hearts. And know that we're here. This is a watering hole. This is a watering hole. You don't have to just send bases to us. You can actually come, you know, call us and we'll pray for you. Because we're we asking you for prayer. Every time I come on the video, I'm asking you for prayer. Because that's how we're going to heal the country. That's how we're going to heal the land. Now, another thing is, one note. I'm telling you, once you guys get on this one note thing, we're going to heal the country. It'd be the bass players that heal the country. That's going to be so phenomenal that people, it's going to go over people's heads. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to be helping so many people, they're not even think, going to think about, well, who is this group? Who is this? They're bass players? One, one note. Just healing the country. Just putting the country where it should be. Anyway, please subscribe. Please add on. I don't even think add on button is down there. <laughs> Look, please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Please tell other folks. Please keep us in your prayer. We love y'all with all our hearts. Shout out, Kaga, folks. Peace out. Oh, you can turn it back around now. Oh, you can turn it back around now.